Hey beauties, it's Magda K, and today we're answering the question, why so many women feel used by men? So I was having dinner with my friends, a gay couple, just a few days ago, and one of them said that he finds it very weird that a woman can feel used by a man, especially in the sexual terms. And then he looks at his partner, he asks him, have you ever felt used? And he said, no. And then they look at me, and I'm like, yeah, of course, many times. So that got me thinking, why is it that women so easily feel used by men? Why is it that we often end up saying, oh, he just wanted to have sex with me? Well, I, you know, thought about it and I have a few tips for you. I want to go into why we feel that so we can change it because I definitely am speaking from the experience that feeling used by a man is really horrible and it's very disempowering. So let's break this pattern by diving deep into how women actually perceive sexuality. So for me, this is the very first thing. Um, you know, understanding that I perceive lovemaking as something very different than men do. Um, for men, oftentimes, and by the way, a side note, I'm not trying to put anyone in any boxes. These are just certain tendencies. So the masculine energy in the men um, is, the, is the energy that actually sees things more as goals and the goal in this case for men is sex the sex in itself as a pleasant great experience so that's what they're going for now sex for women is rarely just about that for us sex means a part of something bigger um, like it's means to a relationship to connection to intimacy to emotional safety and stability and when we go into relationship a man basically expects sex. That's what he wants because that's what he likes. And we want something more. And what happens is that we both give in something so that we can get what we want. It's an exchange and it's absolutely normal. So a man gives, let's say, sex or gives himself, gives his body to get in return sex. A woman gives herself, her body, sex, and she is expecting in return intimacy and emotions and connection and so what often ends up happening is that a man gives something he gets back what he wanted but for women we give something and we do not get anything in return that we were hoping for so if whenever you give more that you get in return it feels unfair and you feel used now i think very important thing here is first of all to be honest what actually sex means to us and you know i work in sexuality and uh, i practice open relating in this phase of my life so there's a lot of environment and a lot of talking about just making sex what it is like it's a normal thing a normal part of our lives so there is this tendency of trying to act like this you know strong woman like yeah it's just sex it's just about pleasure and the truth is that it's not. There is more. There is, you know, a certain form of attachment that's being created with it. And if I don't get in return what my heart craves, then I feel used. And unless I'm honest about it with myself, I cannot actually act according to this truth in me. And I cannot discuss it with my partner. And that takes me to the second point, which is that we often have sex with our men too early. Too early for our emotional and mental health. So I like to think about it. Um, imagine you're with your man and you want to jump into the water and your man jumps right in the water. You know, he just goes for it. Now you would probably prefer taking it slower because the water is cold. So maybe you want to put your feet in the water first and, you know, get your legs wet and your belly wet and slowly go inside. But what happens is that your man grabs your hand and he pulls you in the water. Now, once you're in the water, of course, it's okay. You move and the water feels warm. So it's fine. But if it wasn't for him, you would have preferred taking things slower. And that has happened to me many, many times. Then a man pulled me in and we, you know, we became intimate very fast because in a way he encouraged me to it. And it wasn't anything wrong, like it was great. But the truth is that I ignored my inner voice because my inner voice, my body, my mind, my heart, whatever, was telling me to take it slower and I didn't listen. And over time, when you keep ignoring yourself, that's when you end up feeling used. So let's say your man is fast and he wants, like this is his timeline, right away, let's have sex. You would like to take some time and maybe be somewhere here. So you're on, like 
you know, you're on the edges of something. Now, it doesn't mean that he has to meet you and meet your timeline, but it also doesn't mean you have to meet his timeline. You can meet somewhere in between. Oftentimes what happens is that we actually, we are the ones who compromise on our timeline to meet a man's. So yeah, a man maybe needs to wait a few more days, but it's much more closer to his ideal timeline for having sex than it is to ours. And I believe that talking about it with your partner is a really important thing. So explain to a man that you're seeing or that you started seeing, you know, what sex really means to you. And, you know, you can say that, like, I'm super attracted to you. You're really, really handsome. I love your energy. Like, I desire you. But because of all of the emotions and I know that I have a tendency to get attached, I would like to take it a bit slower. So can you meet me halfway through? And when you ask for that, this is when a man will do it for you. And this is often when you can realize if he's an asshole that you probably do not want to get intimate with. Um, or if it's someone that it's really worth doing with. Um, and honestly, men will be happy to wait to make sure that you feel comfortable. But first, you have to understand what is comfortable for you. Now, um, the third thing is that... Um, one of also one of the reasons why we feel used is because we still have a certain conditioning in how we perceive sex. Um, oftentimes, unfortunately, even though it's not very conscious, women think that sex is something we give and we give for a man or to a man instead of thinking of it as sex is something for myself. So if I make love with a man and I feel used, it's because in my mind, I gave something for him. I took away something from myself to give for him. And that's a whole bigger story because, um, you know, there's still a lot of work to do um, around reconditioning women that sex is also for us. That um, when you are intimate with someone, you're not doing it for a man. You're doing it for yourself. And we've done so much work, you know, with Tantra, sacred sexuality, and all the Western sexologists. We've done so much to change that conditioning. But it's still present in our minds on a deeper level. And we all, like, often are just not conscious about it. So this is why I'm so thankful for all the, you know, sexual teachers and all the tantricas out there because collectively we're helping women change the conditioning around it and help, you know, not feel used but feel that, oh my God, I just had an amazing experience and even if it doesn't continue, it doesn't happen again, I'm happy with where I am. So I hope that this video will help you, you know, be honest with yourself, how you look at your own sexuality, help you move into the intimate part of the relationship when you are ready so that you don't feel used at the end because this is a very disempowering state that unfortunately pulls us back into our trauma and into our old patterns. And if you would like to dive deeper into this, please visit my website. It's magdakay.com. And if you would like to speak to me, I offer a trial coaching session. Um, so we get to dive into whatever is happening for you, whatever is true for you right now, and dissect it and change those old patterns so you don't have to feel used anymore. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check under this video all the links if you want to follow me on Facebook or on Instagram and some other recommendations for other videos. And thank you so, so much for tuning into this video. And I hope it was of value. So sending you many kisses and I'll catch you soon.